A lot of Nikopedias revolve around answering questions or doing experiments, which is awesome. But this one, this one is going to be different. My mind wanders a lot. Squirrel! <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I have adult ADD. One moment I'll be looking at my asparagus on my plate, and the next thing I know, I'm thinking about interstellar space travel and downloading my thoughts onto hard drives. So for this reason, I wanted to devote an entire episode to that one thought. And that one thought is how certain things behave the same from micro to macro, or from big to small. So today, we're gonna talk about five super interesting instances where this phenomenon happens. And since this is such an awesome topic, I have Paul Barbado joining me. Hey, call me Barbie. Oh, well, yeah. oh how you doing? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. He's coming from the channel Geography Now, which is totally awesome. It's very similar to Nikopedia, but it's nice. all like geography. Yes. And like you learn and you laugh. It's just, it's great. All right, let's dive into this one. Canyon creation. If looking at how water carves sand on a beach or dust on the side of the road, the carving pattern looks pretty much exactly the same when you're 30,000 feet in the air looking down at valleys and canyons. Yeah, that's right. There is no better example of this than the 277 foot long, 18 mile wide Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon was formed by the Colorado River flowing over layers of rock, carving out a giant canyon a little over six million years ago. That's a long time ago. It's really long, oh, yeah, happens. And the same formation of erosion occurs on a minor scale between rain water and silicon dioxide, also known as sand. Which makes sense as one of the main rock types that created the Grand Canyon is sandstone. Coincidence? I, yeah, I, I don't think, so. think so. Now, cities as circuit boards. Again, from an airplane looking down at a city at night, the layout of the city lights resembles that of a circuit board of a computer. Ah, yeah, think of it that way. That's really yeah. cool. Okay, well, so here's how I see it, okay? The cars and trucks represent electricity moving along roads like conductors on the circuit board. Just like how UPS drivers deliver goods around a city, the electrons deliver information to the individual pieces of the board, such as resistors, capacitors, transistors, and integrated circuits. So spilling water on your keyboard would basically be the same as a level five hurricane. Ah! Yeah, it's like, it's like the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Armageddon. <laughs> Now here's another one. Forests as mold on the planet. Mold is a multicellular fungus that grows in the presence of moisture. On a global scale, this moisture can be seen as rainwater for the trees. Oh, I get it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this like, one step further, okay? Mold uses organic material like rotting tomatoes, right? As a source of nutrients, just like how trees use soil for nutrients. Mm. To round out this analogy, mold uses spores to spread itself to new locations just as trees use pollen or seeds. You know, it's also neat to consider that mold has no problem growing on rounded objects like an orange, which in itself resembles the rounded nature of our planet. Also, atoms as tiny little solar systems. Wow, oh, this is cool. This and is gonna be fun. Super nerdy, okay, yeah. here we go. Yeah. Atoms have a nucleus made of protons and neutrons with orbiting electrons, just like how our sun has planets orbiting it. Also, the Bohr model of an atom shows the nucleus has a much larger object compared to the electrons, much like how our sun is a lot larger than the planets of the solar system. And see, with all the solar systems added up in our universe, perhaps we are all just a part of another atom making up another giant living creature. Super genius! All of us, together. <laughs> There are some problems with this idea though, okay? So hear me out here. I'm gonna nerd out even doubly as hard. Okay? Through the quantum mechanics theory of atoms, neutrons, protons, and electrons are not spherical like planets. And electrons don't really follow an orbit like our planets do. However, these are only theories as atoms are much too small to actually see with your own eyes. So with all of that, I still think that we're all part of a giant living creature. I, I wonder what that creature's name is, like Craig or Bob or Amanda. Oh, I like mm. Amanda. Yeah. Hi there. Yeah. We're, just, we're all part of Amanda. We're Amanda. Yeah. This is number five. Humans in a subway car operate just like molecules of gas in a balloon. Okay, this is where things get crazy. When the subway doors open, people walk in and without anyone telling them, they just spread out. They evenly spread throughout the entire car. They do. Yeah. And this is very similar to how molecules of gas occupy spaces of containers they fill evenly like a balloon. For example, in a helium balloon, the individual molecules of gas spread out evenly as opposed to filling just one corner of the balloon. One of the reasons we might behave this way is because our bodies are made above 78% dissolved gas by weight. Really? So we're like wow. flooded, dissolved. That's insane. Gas. I mean, perhaps the physical properties of gas have been subconsciously incorporated into our instinctual behavior? Oh, I like 
find that Amanda. We, we got <laughs> ga gas brains, all part of Amanda. Yes, that's who Perfect. we are. Yeah. Head over to Paul's channel for awesome videos on geography because they will not only teach you something, they will make you laugh. So go ahead and just click Paul. That will take you directly over to his channel. And this channel is Geography Now approved. Geography peeps, check out Nick. See you guys next week.